Yeah, man, we'll just find that thing real quick and it'll be a That's nice quick project. Salt around here. Nice quick project. Come on. No. Swore I freaking saw this thing. No, Doug, it's not by the motor. I swear we put it in one of our pockets before. No. I don't, I don't have anything, man. I got nothing. I think it's time to call Dan. All right, uh, where'd my phone go? Yeah, Dan, do you have it? You know, maybe you can help us out because we can't find it over here. We've checked everywhere. That you, Dano? Yo! Well, well, well. Long time no see you, man. Project Dan. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, buddy. You too, you too. All right, Dan, what we got here? Merry Christmas. <laughs> In October. Yeah, yeah. Christmas came early. The harvest I'll fair. Save it. I've been trying to track one of these down. Not that they're that hard to find, but just never seem to get my hands on one. Well, I appreciate you taking her off my hands. Oh, yeah, buddy. Out of my way. Project Dan, did you even clean this thing for me? Nah, uh, just a little bit, you know. I can't be delivering dirty parts to my buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the guy, isn't it? <laughs> sure is. 242J. And the beauty about this is, uh, came out of an XJ, so now I got an XJ WJ. <laughs> Say they're XJ parts in my WJ. Perfect. This is perfect. It's gonna go in place of my 247 so that I can finally plow. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I found out last year that you cannot plow with a 247 uh, transfer case. The all-wheel drive, limited slip, Verilock setup. Uh, it take the lag between the front and the rear engaging is too much and you end up just sliding sideways. So Dan knew I was on the hunt for a 242 so that I could uh, lock my front and rears together and uh, he was kind enough to drive this. <laughs> How many hours, Dano? Well, <laughs> did not know it was a holiday weekend, <laughs> so it's caught a little bit of traffic. But, uh, uh, Dan was planning on a two-hour trip and uh, Almost well, suffice it to say, it was longer than, longer than that. It was well worth the trip, though. All right, man, I'm going to get this stashed, and as soon as I have some more time, this is going in the Jeep. Yeah, buddy. For sure. But for now... Are we all charged up? I believe we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. Nice. We're good. Uh, alrighty, so uh, we, we gabbed so long that the uh, first battery died, and then we realized we're not really talking about transfer cases anymore, so we might as well get to a more comfortable location, well Dan pointed out, yeah. and uh, continue this little chat. Uh, what I was saying when the camera did die though, was I think the coolest, most ingenious fix I've ever seen. It's simple, but Dan, you got the leather seats, right, on the Leather XJ? seats, yes. And it was cracked along the bottom? It's the typical crack. Yeah, because well, as you, you get sit, in, yeah, yeah, it's got the right above the controls. Everything just cracks. And what did you use to fix it? I used the interior fabric from a spare tire. From the tire, you know the tire yeah. cover, the carpet ones? And it looks factory now. It's factory color, it's That's factory crazy, material, man. it's literally Jeep parts. But I would have, it's, it's, it's a little <laughs> tedious to do though. Oh man, you literally sewed it in there, right? Yeah, yeah, I took a, a little razor blade and I cut out the entire panel uh -huh. and uh, I lined it up onto the tire cover. Yep. And uh, I use the 3M adhesive glue. That's the best stuff for any interior. Oh, it's glued on there. 3M Super 77. Yeah, Super 77. I glued the uh, front of well, the rip part mm -hmm. onto that, that piece of fabric, and then I cut it out, and then I stitched through every <laughs> hole that was already there. That's the oh, beauty yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 because it... Yeah, you use some nylon thread, I double wrapped it. You wouldn't I, even... Like, if you're looking at it, <laughs> he opened it and he showed me, and I didn't even... It doesn't even look yeah. like... Like, no, man, you didn't do that. That's how it came from the factory. Hand-stitched every hole right through and uh looks like <laughs> pretty damn good uh good fix there i did the similar swap on the uh the zj i took a passenger seat took it all apart and put the fabric onto 
um, the driver's seat. Today, I'm gonna see if I could swap this ripped, torn, tattered, cracked, gross driver's seat of the ZJ with an extra passenger seat bottom. No kidding. Yeah, and they're, they're identical like that. They're identical. The only problem is um, you have to cut the holes where oh, the, the, the recline goes, goes and, and the, the controls on the other go. Side, it just but the other side, there, yeah. there, there are the holes, so I didn't do it yet, but you could do the same thing. You cut out that patch panel mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. swap them. This way you have a perfectly brand new Good gravy. ZJ. <laughs> Would you get that from one of those parts ones you, you found? Yeah, actually, uh, there's a video of me grabbing that seat. Um, when I pick up ZJ parts uh, yeah. from that guy, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, I drove the VIC, out there. Yeah, yeah, and you got the uh, oh, the one where you were in the dark there, right? In the dark, yeah. yeah I yeah, picked yeah. all the parts to do the uh, the VIC swap. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah, that's pretty wild. What um, kind of swaps you got? You got you got all sorts of stuff going on in the uh, yeah, man. And Willie, I mean, Willie came with two open differentials, and we swapped in Verilox. I highly recommend Verilox if you have a WJ. Um, where else can you get a limited slip from the junkyard like that? It's usually pretty hard to accomplish that. Uh, they bolt right in. They're usually less than 100 bucks a piece, uh, and it gives you a ton more, um, That's ex you know, just fantastic. capability. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. The rears are going to be a Dana 44A. Now the center section is aluminum, so it's a Dana 44. The center section is aluminum, but the ring and pinion are actually out of a Dana 60. So the argument that rages on forever is: Is it a stronger version of the Dana 4 or stronger weaker? Stronger internals, but weaker casing. Basically. But if you truss it, it's you regain the strength. Which mine is. Mine's. I've got the Clayton truss in there. It welds right Can't in. I'm a complete that. hack welder. It just burns right <laughs> in there. Um, it's no problem at all. What you do have to do though, if you're going to weld one of those in, is preheat um, the differential because you don't want any warping, obviously, in your differential seat. We're up and down with a torch. I wish that I had the channel when I built Willie. Oh man. I mean, that's- Great document. I, I did stuff that I'd never have the time, energy, money, or cojones to, <laughs> to try today, you know, because I was young and dumb, I had a hammer, and I was ready to roar. Yeah, um, exactly. I'm, I'm much more tame now. Um, Eric's currently doing his retrospective on, on the build of Barney, and when he's done with that, I think I'm gonna do a retrospective build on Willie. Um, I get questions all the time about it. I'd love to be able to give you guys that information um, for sure. I mean, same thing probably with Black Beauty. The amount of work yeah, I've I know. seen in that thing, you know? So many questions, but mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to answer them through yeah. my build of the next Jeep, but it's going to take a little while to I, get there. So. I don't mean to gas you guys up. But I know. <laughs> he, he walked in the house today. We had a little picnic. Eric was here. He, he had to leave. He might be back later. And uh, we're like eating some wings and, and everything, and he's telling us about this, and <laughs> my jaw is just hitting the ground, the, uh, what he's planning to do with well, an XJ. I don't mean to gas it. Here's, no, the only thing I'm going to say about it is uh, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> the only problem is am I ready to do this myself? And um, since my family's going to go in it, I want to make sure that <laughs> it's done safely. Stakes so are high. I might outsource a little bit of help and uh, I'm wrong with that. Got to figure out the logistics yep. because um, if I'm doing this thing, if I'm going, if I'm going all the way, I'm going deep, don't want to botch it. I got too much time and, <laughs> and I can't have this garbage yeah, Jeep yeah, yeah, be yeah, unveiled yeah. on the project yeah. and you know yep. <laughs> this whole thing was built up. That's the, whole, the worst That's thing, how right? I started the channel. Yeah. I wanted to build this, this, this beach. beach Jeep yeah. and I still haven't really started it. <laughs> but to be fair, you got Black Beauty on there, you build General Grievous, we got some good blue videos. Yeah, yeah, details, yeah, details, details. details. <laughs> I want to see the extra. <laughs> right? like, ah, I'll try it. Oh shoot. Baby. It'll come, it'll come. That's a good time, man. Yeah. Um, but jeeps i uh let's say we go for a little ride in the uh xk oh xk commander yeah we'll yeah go, we'll, we'll go we're not even gonna make, we're not even gonna um gas it up we'll just talk about it when we're in there <laughs> let's do it we'll put the dogs away yeah. what's up buck we're backing up in the uh xk not gonna lie i still don't trust backup cameras <laughs> he's just gonna don't drive with one ever ash's jeep has it i'm like nope i don't trust that i i was really considering a backup camera swap because nowadays the cameras have such high resolution. Oh yeah, absolutely. I wonder if that's even possible. Huh. I hope so. I mean, the hardware, you know, as far as the actual camera, yeah, why just not? pop right? out one camera, put in the other. This thing is so nice. Yeah. The XK is an underappreciated Jeep, like 100%. I feel like it fell through the cracks. It you know? did, well, you know what, it came out and then there was recession, nobody's buying new cars. Um, yeah, they it were labeled out, bad as yeah, gas guzzlers. Yeah, it came out just a little too late. Because remember like the Escalade craze yep. a few years before that? And I think people now are starting to realize, hold on, hold on, hold on. Those things are pretty cool. Not the 3.7s. I had a 3.7 one. 
the three seven is not a great motor for this vehicle, but the four seven or <laughs> the five seven, <laughs> which Dan was smart enough to get. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's that's good. That's good right there. We'll get to that stop sign. We'll give it a little how you we doing. Might, we <laughs> might have to. We might have to see how she's doing. My neighbor's out with the dogs. Uh, well, don't worry. We will. We'll see how she is. Now, in this one. What's the transfer case set up in this thing? Since we were talking about transfer cases. This is the Quadra Track 2. Quadra, Quadra Track, track 2. two. It's not the Quadra Drive. I had a specific build in mind that I wanted, but um, I wanted the Quadra Drive with the Verilock like locks. you have, yeah. but this didn't have it. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't pass this one up. It was 76,000 miles when I got it. Yeah. And man, oh, it had everything I wanted. Uh, the black on black. Right. The entertainment for the kids, uh, the low mileage. Half of its life was spent in the south, so I knew it wasn't going to be. Ooh, good thing <laughs> we didn't plow Granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Get out of the way! Yeah! Would you move your wrinkled asses? I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run you over. <laughs> Put in a couple oh, movie cuts on that. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I could only imagine this thing with the Verilock would be absolutely insane. Yeah. People uh, climb out. Well, it's a Jeep, you know. It's it a does what Jeeps do. It. it does what Jeeps do. I follow a guy on Instagram who lifted one of these up, and he's got it on about 35s. And I'll tell you, it looks mean, man. It looks real mean. Yeah. The inside is gorgeous too. Yeah. This right around like the end of the. Um, Daimler Chrysler merger, uh, Jeeps were getting real cruddy inside. I don't personally like the inside of WKs. I, I owned the WK, I drove it, uh, did not really love it. But this one, even though it came out around the same time, pretty awesome. <laughs> There's so many little things that I find out I like about this before um, I even knew it had it. So right. I'm still discovering things like the hatch button <laughs> to open the hatch is up there. Huh. I never knew. Oh, you just found that out recently? Like, yeah, like three weeks ago. Huh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's got the, the portal. Uh, what do you want to call those skylights? The yeah. mini ones. I so forgot. Like, there's a fancy term for them. And yeah. I just don't know. Command, the, command view, I think command it's called. Command view? Command view, something yeah. like that. It's just interesting. The sunroof up here, command view. Um, it's got the navigation. It's got everything. It's got now, my Cheez Its. And <laughs> as we mentioned, it is a 4.7 or yeah. a 5.7, so it will pass everything except for a gas station. So. <laughs> you said it, buddy. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> We're going to go gas this buddy up, and then we'll be back. See what it looks like under the ranch here? If I can find it. Oh, this is embarrassing. What? It's because I'm using my wrong hand. There we go. Oh. It's got the do not touch cover as is standard on more modern vehicles. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want a monkey with a toolbox poking around my 5.7 either. Uh, one thing that's a bummer about these Hemis is they got two spark plugs per cylinder. So a spark plug job is 16 spark plugs. Though in this thing, it looks like you got pretty good access all the way back to the, to the back cylinders. Maybe not on this side. Yeah, you might be getting a little hairy. Doesn't mean I wouldn't want one. Quite the opposite. This is, is this a torque box? That's weird. That's very weird. I've never seen under the hood of a, a 5.7 Jeep before. Um, as soon as we're gassed up, we're gonna get out there and give her the beans. Oh yeah, buddy. Mint. All right, friends, before we close out this video, so not only did Dan drive all the way down here, give me a transfer case. <laughs> now he's gonna let me drive his Hemi. Heck yeah, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until this friggin' Toyota gets out of the way. Oh, it had to be a Toyota. It's always it a, Toyota. To Listen, a Toyota. There's not no reason why I, I don't <laughs> prefer Toyotas. Because anytime there's some Jamoke in front of me, that's a Toyota. That's They're either way. in your way on that's me. On the trail or in the road. <laughs> Get out of the way, Toyota. Right. <laughs> oh man. Recently I've been honestly trying to be less aggressive about my dislike of Toyota on the channel, but I just can't help it. No, you know what? There's Toyota fans out there that want to do the same thing we do. It's true. Just because we're Jeep guys and they're Toyota guys, uh -huh. and we can't share the road. Uh -huh. We got a lot of Toyota viewers too, and they're good guys, and I'm surprised they put up with me. <laughs> hey, you don't mind if I give her the beans a little bit? All right, let's do it. Wait, seatbelts. Seatbelts, everybody. Always seatbelts. I can't, I can't ride in a vehicle without a seatbelt. It just doesn't feel right. Nothing crazy, mind you. We're just, nah. I just want to see the acceleration. Yeah. Oh, it does put you in your seat. Goes, I know. Oh, and it keeps you there. And it keeps going. <laughs> All right, it's, it's 45 out here. We took it to 50. Uh, I'll be... Yeah, man. 
Yeah, man. Okay, that's, that's never mind. It. I'm no longer satisfied with my 47. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dan. You've ruined. Uh, ruined, right? You've ruined my V8. Uh. Uh, I've been I've been hinting actually by the time this video comes out, the uh, new vehicle will be released. But my new vehicle is another V8. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. So, yeah. You're gonna uh, make another YouTuber very happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's another hit, <laughs> right? Yeah. One of our fellow uh, partner channels there is a big fan of this particular vehicle that I. It wasn't the right price, I never would have bought, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So listen, a uh, <laughs> big thank you from d &E to Dan for driving down here. Oops, squirrel. squirrel. Squirrel, get out of the way. We're driving all the way out. He brought the family, we had a great day. Our kids ran around in circles around each other, tired them all out. That's why I'm so, rushing home right now to get mine in the tub and in the bed. Uh, he brought me a wonderful 242 transfer case that's gonna go in my Grand Cherokee. Uh, if you didn't already, please go check out Dano's channel. Uh, Project Dan H. Project Dan H. Listen, there are going to be links and cards and, and, oh, yeah. and pinned comments everywhere on that one. Um, yeah, man. Leave us a comment down in the squawk box. Let us know what you thought about this video. If you liked the video, please consider liking the video. Sub to both channels if you want to see more content like this. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next project. <laughs> yeah, right. <that's>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, today go. on the project, right? I meant to make one of those jokes at some point since we did the hate book. Anyway, we'll do it the next collab. Yeah, the which is coming for sure. Yeah, baby. <laughs>